What's up guys, this is Child Support School, classes in session. Today I'm gonna to talk about the four top ways that people hide money from child support. All right, so nothing's here is legal advice, nothing is inviting an attorney-client relationship. This is all for um, informational and entertainment purposes only. All right, so I wanna start out by saying that I am by no means giving this giving this information out because I'm, I'm encouraging people to uh, hide money from child support. That That is not why I'm doing this, okay? Um, I think it's important that people understand um, some of the some of the kind of shady things that, that folks are up to. I think that if if you have an issue with the child support payment that you have, okay, um, the, there's a right way and a wrong way to get around it. I'm giving you an example of the wrong way so you can avoid it. Um, I think the right way is you know get a modification. You know watch the other videos here um, that we've posted. There's lots of information on how to lower your child support in a legit way. All right, so the the first. The, the first item on this list on how, how parents will hide money from child support is they will work in like a cash business, right? So a, a business, any business that deals in all cash. So I've seen it, you know, barbers, um, servers, bartenders, um, strippers, obviously. Um, that's a big one. Um, you know, folks who maybe do, you know, hand, I've seen handyman, I've seen, you know, people who kind of have their own business and they deal largely in cash, hairdressers, um, you know, all, all that kind of stuff um, is, uh, you know, when it's cash, it's, it's hard to prove, especially because the next thing they'll do is they will not have that cash ever enter a bank account. Right. So if it's not in a bank account, then it's technically not on the grid. And so, you know, they deal in cash, they pay their bills, you know, in cash or they get money orders from Amscot and pay their bills that way rather than using the formal banking system. And that makes it hard for the state or, you know, the other parent's attorney to do discovery to prove that they have the, that income, more income than they say they do. Um, and uh, so so that's interesting. Now, some of these cash businesses these days will make people claim tips. Um, or there's a lot of tips that are on debit cards these days that, that always ends up on the grid because it shows up on a pay stub. Um, so as we move kind of more toward a cashless kind of online, uh, you know, payment society, you know, it becomes harder to do this, but a lot of people still do it constantly. All right. So the next one is people will actually work out deals with their boss. You know, if, if they, if their boss is someone who's gone through child support or their buddies or something like that, a lot of times the owner of their company will work out a deal with them where, where they say, Hey, um, you know, I'll, I'll give you half of your pay on the grid on your check and I'll give you the other half in cash if you want. Um, the next one is people will get all, have all of their bank accounts. You know, maybe they're, they have a, a, a job or a profession where they need to operate on a bank account. Like maybe they're self-employed and, they, um, and and they have to use bank accounts. So they will have their bank accounts in other people's names. You know, the girlfriend's name, you know, the father's name, the mother's name, the sister's name. Um, you know, that is that makes it really difficult for an attorney to come in or the state to come in and kind of figure out, okay, well, what money going into this account is, is this person's versus the sisters and, and, and it, it does make it really hard and it keeps things off the grid. Now, the last thing on this list is by far the most common and the one that I see the most people getting away with. And before I, before I get to it, I want to say if this, if so far this video is adding value to your situation, if you like this content, um, if you're going through the child support system or any family law system and you, and you want more information like this, then smash that like button. It really helps us out with the algorithm. And subscribe to this channel because we're, you know, we're dropping new videos like this all the time. And we're also creating courses on how to help people you know, represent themselves and navigate the court system if they're not hiring attorneys and they're doing it on their own. On to the fourth and final one that we see the most common, and that is when people are self-employed, right? So they, they own their own business. And uh, so, so self-employed people have multiple avenues of, you know, kind of hiding money from child support, or at least trying. Okay, so, um, so the first one is through their write-offs, okay, their, their deductions. They will, you know, self-employed people, um, I'm self-employed, so I mean, I understand to a certain degree how it works. You know, you can write off almost anything. You can write off miles, you can write off, you know, depreciation on vehicles, 
Um, you know, you can write off you know, home offices, office offices, every, all kinds of stuff. You can write it off. Um, and so they will, you know, kind of go in and allege that, hey, look, my income on my tax return is my income for child support calculation purposes. And not every attorney, and, and a lot of times the state is, is too busy to actually dig into their corporate tax returns to really figure out um, the difference. And so a lot of times they get away with that. Um, the other one is they will get a corporate credit card and they will run up their personal expenses on the corporate credit card, right? You know, electric payment, rent payment, going out to dinner, going on vacation, all their personal expenses that should count as income. They'll run it up on the, on the business credit card and then they will have the business pay that credit card bill every month and they will pay themselves a much smaller amount, right? And so um, by doing that, their, their income that is technically like on the grid is much lower, right? And um, so, they're, so they've got the business that's funding their personal life, but they're keeping it inside the business. And that creates complex uh, complexities. Now, good, a good lawyer can do discovery. They can do depositions. Um, they, can, they can get a hold of the, the, all of the credit card statements and really figure this out. They can use forensic accountants to help. You know, we've done that in the past. Um, but uh, if you're dealing with, you know, people who are dealing with the state, a lot of times the State Department of Revenue attorneys are just too busy to really do that kind of in-depth discovery. And, um, and, and folks get away with that all the time. Now, again, I want to be clear. This is not something where I'm telling you to go out and do this. I'm actually doing this so that you know what not to do. Because listen, if the judge catches you doing this kind of stuff, the problem is in most of the places that I know of, if the judge catches you hiding money, then they, that then opens the door for the judge to be able to make assumptions about what you could be making, right? And God forbid they assume that you're making more than you actually are and, and ding you for that for child support purposes. Um, you know, because then the whole thing could blow up in your face and you could end up paying more support than you would have if you just were honest about what you made. Um, again, I believe honesty is always the best policy. There, there's a legit way to, to lower child support. Um, and sometimes that means going after court ordered time sharing with the kids. I've got other videos here about how the best defense to child support is to uh, go after court ordered overnight time with the kids. Um, and so anyways, check out our other videos. Again, if this added value to your situation, like the video, um, subscribe to this channel. Um, again, we are, we're creating courses for folks who want to represent themselves. Uh, once those are ready, I'll add links in, in my bio and in the description below. And uh, anyways, guys, class dismissed. I appreciate you hanging through to the end. I'll see you in the next one.